Thank you for clicking on this review. I just got done watching The Fall Guy. And with The Fall Guy, we follow Ryan Gosling, who plays a stuntman in Hollywood. Everything seems to be going just fine until one day he's asked to locate the star of the movie who's gone missing. Ryan Gosling is then put on a task to find him before the movie gets canceled and the director of the film, who also is his love interest, played by Emily Blunt, ends up getting fired. And that's all for new second. Any spoilers to so you guys. This will be a spoiler-free review, so The Fall Guy. Unfortunately, no, this is not a movie based on the video game The Fall Guys, although I'm waiting for that movie. One day we're gonna get it. Might be fun, might suck. Either way, I'm watching it. No, instead, this movie is based off a TV show that came out in the 80s that I just looked up because I always like looking at theme songs of old TV shows, and this one was pretty catchy. I might fall from a tall building, I might roll a brand new car, cause I'm the unknown. But essentially the premise of the show was slightly similar to the movie. It's a stunt guy who works in Hollywood that would occasionally take his profession of stunt work and use it to solve crimes, fight bad guys, and help people he knows. And heck, even in watching the intro, I saw stuff in there I was like, oh, they, they used that in the movie. Funny. But I don't think you need to have been a fan or have grown up with the series to be into this film because it just looked like a really fun big budget action comedy starring handsome Gosling, all right? I was just wanting to be entertained and entertained I was, my friends. I definitely have a couple of hiccups and gripes with this movie that we'll get into, but starting off with the things I loved about this film, it was just flat out fun. It's no secret Ryan Gosling is one of the most charming, charismatic people working in Hollywood, but I've always felt he's had this underrated sense of humor. The guy is really freaking funny. Whenever I saw him in Crazy Stupid Love, I was like, dude, this guy's like really funny, and in Ken, he was able to play off that and even more here in The Fall Guy. It also definitely helps that that he has amazing chemistry with Emily Blunt, who I also found surprisingly hilarious in this movie. I say surprisingly because I don't think I've ever seen Emily Blunt go into a comedic role. Most of the stuff I see her in is pretty serious, dramatic, or action-packed. But here, the ladies got herself some comedic chops and paired up with Ryan Gosling, and their chemistry was sparking all over the screen. I really could not get enough of their dynamic. I thought they played off really well off each other, which is kind of an important part of this movie because I do want to stress something to kind of set expectations if you're someone planning to want to go see this movie the trailers are slightly deceiving you're still getting a very big action comedy but this is a rom-com disguised as an action film for the first half of this movie or the first two-thirds of it it is very rom-com heavy now if you're a fan of rom-coms which i enjoy from time to time you're gonna enjoy this nonetheless but i was not expecting the amount they were leaning in towards because seeing the marketing that has also been really nice to see for this movie where they're really paying homage and respect to stunt people in hollywood i kind of expected that to be the main focus of the movie and while you do definitely get a lot of that a big emphasis and focus and respect on the stunt workers of hollywood sometimes it felt like those elements took a back seat to this love story between ryan gosling and emily blunt thank goodness their chemistry and story actually worked because if not uh, this would have been a major disappointment and again that's not necessarily a negative on the film i just think that's something to adjust expectations be ready for a lot of rom-com elements in here sometimes a little bit more that overshadows the love letter to stunt work that this movie is. But in fact, getting onto that element of stunt work, the movie was also very meta. Since this is a movie where they're also making a movie within a movie, there's a couple of lines they throw out in reference to the movie they're making, but also applies to the literal movie you're watching. The movie has fun with itself and that's super enjoyable. When we actually get though to the stunts and action of this film, it's done really well. It's super nice to see. I feel like there is ton more action in the later half of this movie. In the beginning, you get a couple of action scenes here and there, but the movie just kind of works your way up to the big finale where you just have non-stop things happening in your face. And even the things I was kind of getting into with this movie is the elements of him being a stunt performer really put him in a position to be a better fighter, a better dodger, jumping through windows, evading bad guys, stuff that I bet was probably very prominent in the the TV show version where they could flesh stuff like that out. I kind of love movies or TV shows that do that, where they take a simple profession and then they
they turn it into a superpower, right? You know, Walter White has a chemistry teacher and what he did there. Ryan Gosling here with his years as a stunt performer and the things he was able to achieve against a couple of bad guys or when fighting people, I found that fun. But I guess if I want to get into the elements that I'm a little bit mixed on or negative, I've touched upon them a little bit. The movie is very messy. There is a mystery that goes on throughout the course of this movie that I thought at first was being handled super sloppily, was not even interesting at all. They do such a great job of focusing in on this Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt love relationship. They're sweet together. You enjoy them. You want them to make it as a couple. And then the movie starts introducing this whole element of like, oh, dude, you got to go find the star of the movie. He's missing and you don't want your love interest to be fired. But for like the first half of the mystery, I was just like, why is this not interesting? Why is this a little boring or just being haphazardly thrown together with all these other elements the movie has. But thankfully, the movie is sort of saved at the end once more elements of the mystery get revealed and you find out why the star is missing and then how this kind of message into respecting stunt works and putting them in the forefront is used in this movie. And that's something I really like. There's even a joke in this movie about how like there's no Oscar category for stunt work. And that's something that definitely needs to be recognized in Hollywood. The only like sound argument I've seen of like why there isn't a category in the Oscars for stunt people or why there's not major awards for it is because it's a hard category to incentivize reward for, right? If you're a performer, like an actor or an athlete, right? You're encouraged to push the limit of your performance or your athletic ability to get that award when your profession is all about trying to be inches away from death, whether you're on fire, jumping off a building, holding on from a wire, how do you reward that type of life-threatening stunt work without also being the incentivizer? You know what I mean? That's the only argument I've seen where I'm like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You can't really say this person earns the Oscar because they broke their leg, lost their eye, and are almost dead. Here you go. You know, because that is such a sad tragedy. We see it all the time. I think there was even this recent Eddie Murphy movie where like some stunt people got seriously hurt. So it's definitely an interesting topic nonetheless. So, but the way the movie goes about respecting stunt workers and being an homage letter to them, I did like that. I wish it was a bigger focus of the movie and they toned down the rom-com element, but I did enjoy what they did there and connecting it to the mystery of the movie. And also just kind of like a minor gripe, there was a lot of insane stunt work done in this movie. Even at the end of this film, they played play you a lot of the behind the scenes showing you the stunt people that worked for Ryan Gosling and David Leitch in here and doing all this stunt and you're seeing some action scenes that you're like oh the movie made it really feel like that was entirely a green screen or a big CGI effect because it honestly looked a little fake and wonky, but you're seeing the behind the scenes footage of like, oh no, there's actually somebody with a shovel holding onto the back of a pickup. Why then does it look so horrible in the actual movie? And that's my only other gripe. There's such great practical stunt work done in this movie that gets filtered with a layer of CGI making it look fake, which I think ends up doing the reverse of really wanting to showcase some of these great action scenes. That'd be my only other hiccup with this movie. But other than that, I had a fantastic time. It's a hilarious movie. It's got a nice romantic relationship, an awesome, respectable message for the stunt people in Hollywood. If you can get over some of the messier elements of the plot, you're just gonna end up really enjoying this movie. So when it comes to The Fall Guy, I'm gonna give action three and a half stars. There wasn't as much action as I would like. There's tons of it towards the end, but it's not really spaced out well, and it kind of takes a while for some of those cooler action scenes to get going. Comedy in the movie, I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. I really found Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling's back and forth to be hilarious. There's a lot of great one-liners in here. Also even want to shout out Winston Duke and Aaron Taylor Johnson, who I didn't talk about much in this review. They had really great roles and also some fun comedic moments. Drama in the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars. I feel like the story gets a little bit messy. I love the pain, respect, and homage to stunt workers, but the way the mystery was handled and how uninteresting and unbalanced it felt for a moment. It felt like there could have been a better job to have handled the story. Horror in the movie, I'll give no stars, dude. There's nothing really horrifying that happens in here. It's an action comedy. There's not even like a broken bone or thumb that the movie throws at you. And suspense the movie, I will give three stars. I feel like because of some of the more lighthearted tone, you know where things end up. I do appreciate some of the twists and turns, but nothing really had like a shocking reveal. Casual moviegoers, I'm gonna give this an A+. It's just a crowd-pleasing movie. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it an A minus and critically I'm going to give it a B plus. For The Fall Guy, I think this is a movie you would have a fantastic time enjoying in theaters.
again, that's just my opinion on the movie. I'd really love to hear from you guys, especially if you were also somebody that even watched the TV show back in the 80s. How do you think it compared? Anything and everything, be sure to leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.